Hey guys, this is Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to review different Gutenberg's, Gutenberg Blocks library plugins. So, if you're not aware, uh, the way WordPress works now, the new WordPress editor is the Gutenberg editor, and it used to be that back in the days, you, all you had was like a text box here on the screen, and then you just um, you know type in your text and then add images and whatnot. And if you wanted to add widgets or functions or other things it had to be done in like a page builder layout or had to be a custom page template or had to be a widget position. You couldn't just add other dynamic uh, elements or functions into your content. Well now, thanks to the Gutenberg editor, you can. So I'll just give you a quick option. This is how the Gutenberg editor works, right? You go in here and then you pick the kind of blocks that you wanna add and depending on um, what plugins you have added, uh, you'll get more options, more different block options. and there you go, that's all it is. So here's the thing. Um, the thing is when you're, when you're adding blocks to your site, you're gonna wanna be able to maybe have a nice selection, right? Maybe you wanna counter or different uh, layouts or, or, or whatever, a pricing table and whatnot. You want a bunch of different options, but you don't want to install 20, 30 different Gutenberg block plugins, right? You don't want it to be like every little thing you want has to be a whole separate plugin. It's better if you get a Gutenberg block library. So that's what I call it. It's still a, it, it's a plugin, but it's a plugin that has a collection of different Gutenberg blocks. So I'm gonna go down, um, I'm gonna split this section into two videos. One will be the minimal Gutenberg block libraries and the other ones will be the pre-style Gutenberg block libraries. So uh, we're gonna start with the minimal. So why minimal? What is uh, what do I mean by minimal? By minimal, I mean that they're not styled. They're kind of maybe plain, maybe dry, maybe kind of a boring looking, depending on how you look at it. But at the same time, it's very clean. It's simple. There's no flashy effects. And then you can style on top of it as you like. Uh, for me, uh, you know, for anybody that's an experienced developer or you know how to code, you might prefer a more minimal block library because these blocks are very plain, they're very clean and simple, and uh, they, they just don't clutter your, your editor. So first one I'm gonna start with, okay, out of the top five, number one for me, Atomic Blocks. Uh, I love Atomic Blocks. They're the same guys that built Genesis Theme. Uh, they're involved with Studio Press. They're involved with WP Engine. I think their work is fantastic. I'll show you just a quick demo of, um, you know, what, what their blocks can do. You see these are different layouts, images and text laying in different positions. And you know, this is, a, oh, no, okay. So that's just a call out like advertisement box. There's video pop-outs. Um, I'm gonna go back here and just kind of show you real quick uh, what it can do. I hate this block. This is um, from Otter and I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I've already installed like a million block libraries, but Atomic blocks are just the ones that are right here. Okay, so you got layouts, columns, all the standard stuff. Got it? Simple enough. I think this is the best plugin because it just has, it has just enough. You have layout options, right? So you can create different multi-column layouts, push things left, right, however. Uh, you can put uh, layouts that have images and text, you know, nicely, nicely fitting together. There are spacers. And then you can have like pricing tables, um, accordions, right? So like ex the expanding, collapsing thing. Um, there's notice boxes. You can have boxes that stick out or testimonial like quote boxes that stick out. And then the profile box I believe is like just an image and name and whatnot. So, I, and I've already, I've already created one just, you know, just as a demo. So you can see uh, this is what it looks like in the back end, okay, back end's taking a while. Okay, this is the front end. So I was just messing around with different things. And, uh, you know, it's not styled. So this is how it looks. Uh, it, and it, it's very clean. It's very simple. And then if you want to edit them, you see you click on any block. And then from the side, you can go and change certain settings and do what you want. So that's Atomic Blocks. I think it is the perfect balance. It has a good mix of blocks for you to use. I can create many layouts and different looks. And at the same time, it's unstyled, right? So it's very clean. So it, it, it won't stand out. It won't feel like you're installing a theme on top of a theme. It'll fit neatly with your theme. And then you can style it uh, just the way you like. The number two for me, uh, this is Advanced Gutenberg by Joom United. 
I don't know why they called it advanced Gutenberg. I think they should have called it Joom, Joom blocks, right? So um, they, again, they have a whole bunch of different options. Uh, same kind of vibe, same kind of thing. Let me see if there's a demo. Uh, okay, well, they have a video, but I don't want to watch that. I want to see an actual site. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Check the demo. Here we are. I hope, please, don't let this be a video. Okay, so these are all the different things you can do with it. Uh, you can see different galleries, image, maps. You can show your posts, right? So you can show your most latest posts in, in different layouts. See, I like this layout. Um, there's a slider. So really cool. Um, and again, as you can see, this is kind of simple and plain. It's a little dry, right? It's not unstyled. doesn't feel like you're adding plugins on top of it. But I think this can look nice uh, just out of the box already with all these blocks. I've also built a, my own uh, ugly version of it. And I believe it's this one. And I'll show you uh, front end and back end as well. Okay, so here you go. Right, it's got a counter, it's got the accordion, it's got this. So I like this one as well. Um, and it's very plain, very, you know, simple. Uh, but we can check here. And let's just do a quick run through. Where is it? Oh, I hate the name. It needs to be June Blocks. So it's cool. It's got everything you need. It's got tabs. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got tables. Um, I think it has accordion and tabs and whatnot. You can put your WooCommerce products. So all these minimal plugins are kind of the same. They have more or less the same kind of stuff. Um, it's just a matter that you, you pick the one that has a, the out-of-the-box styling you like or, or works with the way um, you like to work, right? Fits your workflow, has exactly the stuff you want. Okay, number three. This is called Generate Blocks. It's not even... It's not even uh, officially released, but, oh, let me know, I just closed my window. But anyway, you don't need to see my face. So it's not even officially released, it's still in beta mode, but you know, uh, I think it's gonna be released soon, it's gonna be in the WordPress repository. Until then, you can just install it uh, from the site, download it from the site, it's free. So this is the one that I use the most, but here's the thing, it's, it's really, really, really simple. Like, it doesn't have anything. Um, well, actually, I don't, that's, that's not correct. I mean, it has very, very few blocks. So let me get to it. This is it. Grid, container, buttons, headline. And most of the time, I only use grid and container because the default uh, WordPress blocks, they already have headline and, um, oh boy, I can't even find it. Right, I've, I've added so much junk. So, uh, oh man. Okay, I don't even know which plugin did this. So. Uh, this, I only use the grid and container, and with that alone, I can do tons of layouts and whatnot. Um, so I highly recommend uh, Generate Blocks if you like working from scratch. You want something super mineral, and I'm telling you, like I said, you can build everything in just those two blocks alone. But for most people, they want something like a pre-styled, like a template to work off of, right? They don't, they don't have an image in their head of what they want. So maybe in that case, I think generate blocks might be a, a little too minimal for them. Now, number four and five, uh, I'm not a big fan. I wasn't so sold on these. Uh, I, I'll show you anyway, just so you can see. So Goot block here, and um, I gotta remember what I said about these guys. Oh yeah, I remember now. They have just, it, it just feels like different layout options. Okay, so it's just, it's just like that. It's just different box layouts and nothing's filled in. You, you will fill it in yourself. I'm just gonna show you the different block collections here. And where is it? Oh boy, I got so many going on. I've tested so many of you guys and I can tell you which ones are, are good and which ones. So lots of containers, lots of like different uh, layouts for different content. Yeah, so different content layouts. That's all it really is. Um, I just felt like other blocks did more but this can be nice if, you, if, if there's certain ones that you need, like author profile or team members, or if there's just certain ones that you need and that the other block plugins, the other block libraries didn't have, then, you know, Goop Blocks would be a good choice. And then you can go in here and, you know, same, same deal. Go ahead and edit what you want to edit. But for me, it was uh, it, probably not my favorite, but it, it is good. And as you can see, good reviews. Okay, the last one is... Uh, Gutenberg blocks, or actually it's called Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. It's by Brainstorm Force. 
which if you don't know, it's the same guys behind um, the Astra theme. So this is how the blocks uh, look on their demo page. And so you can see all the different like block demos. Okay, so there's table of contents. Um, here's advanced heading, price list. Let's see what price list looks like. Okay, so there you go. So they have many different layouts. Ooh, okay, menu versions, the other demos. So you can see all that. I've already built it here and I'll show you now how I feel about them. Close that out. I feel like it's a little too dry, a little too unstyled, and I don't like the gray as a default. I wish it was like a white, you know, like a white and black or something. I, I don't understand the gray. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Um, also too, I felt like this block wasn't unique in any way. It was just kind of like, it was kind of like a me too block, you know, a me too plugin where, you know, when, you know, those different development companies out there just kind of copy plugins that are already exist by other companies. So this is just them doing uh, what already exists by other companies. So similar stuff. I, I just didn't like the styling and I felt it was kind of generic. So I'm not a fan, but if you're on the Astra theme, maybe you might want to stay in the same ecosystem, right? So these are the top five minimal Gutenberg block libraries. The next video, what I'm going to do is showcase like the more pre-styled block libraries. So I'll end this now. I'll see you on the next video.